Lee. Welcome to Little Wilfs this week. Can you see today where I am? Have you got any idea where I could be? It's quite dark, isn't it? I wonder, shall we have a little spin around? Perhaps you can guess. Look, can you see? Today I'm in church. Today we're going to have a story about a man named Nicodemus. But first, what's the things that we need to do? I know. Because it's quite dark, perhaps we need a little bit of light. So shall we light our candle? Here it is. Have you got your candles ready? And we'll light our candle as a reminder that God is always with us. And he lights up our lives. And then we'll put it up here, safe and sound, while we have little wilts. Now what else do we need to do? We need to say hello, don't we? So are we ready with our waving hands? Shall we do some little tiny waves? And some great big waves? Here we go then, are we ready? Hello everyone, hello everyone, hello everyone, it's good to see you here. Hello everyone, hello everyone, hello everyone, it's good to see you here. Hello everybody! Say hello everyone! Now then, now we've done some waving and we've lit our candle and now it's time to sh get rid of all our wiggles. So, have we got some wiggly arms? Who's got wiggly arms today? Oh my goodness me, so wiggly! What about some wiggly hips? Have we got wiggly hips today? Can we do some wigglies? Oh, and what about a wiggly head? Or a neck? Maybe our neck's a bit wiggly and it... Oh, oh, up and down and side to side. And what about our wiggly fingers? Shall we put our wiggly fingers together with a great big clap? And then shall we say our special prayer? Everyone is special to God. So thank you, God, for work and play and everyone who's here today. Amen. Well done. What a great big amen you did then. That was marvellous. I told you, didn't I, that we were going to have the story of a man called Nicodemus and when he went to meet Jesus. And the reason it's a little bit dark in here is because he went to see Jesus at night time when it was dark. So I wonder how dark we can make it in our own homes. I wonder if we curled up in a little tiny, tiny, tiny ball and hid our eyes like this. Can you do that? Can you turn up, curl up in a little tiny ball and hide your eyes? Is it really, really, really dark? Is it? And what happens if you open your fingers a little bit like that and peek through? Can you see? A little tiny bit. What happens if you peek through? Is it a little bit light? It is, isn't it? What happens if you take one hand away? Oh! Or you take the other hand away? Does it get even lighter? What happens if you open two fingers like this? Bebo! Can you see a bit more? We can, can't we? What happens if you take your hands away? Oh, it's light, isn't it? Now, I wonder in here, in church, what could we do to make it even lighter? Hmm, we've lit a candle, haven't we? Maybe what we could do Turn the lights on. Silly Sam. Shall we go and do that? Do you want to come and do that with me? Look, here we go. We're going to go down here. Look, you can see out the window and the sun is not shining today. And we'll go and turn on. Can you see? This is the light box. We turn on the lights. One. Oh, that's a lot lighter, isn't it? Look at that. Ready? Two. Three. Oh, my goodness me. Can you see? How light it is now in church. It's very light because we've turned on the lights. Now Nicodemus was a man who went to see Jesus at night time. I wonder why he went to see Jesus at night time when everybody else 
was asleep. Shall we go to sleep and close our eyes? That makes it quite dark, doesn't it? Are we doing any snoring today? <sighs> Everybody else was asleep and it was really quiet. And Nicodemus tiptoed. Can we tiptoe? Tiptoe really quietly. Shh. So he didn't wake anybody else up. Because he wanted to ask Jesus some questions. But he didn't want anybody else to hear what he was saying. So he tiptoed in the dark really quietly. That was some good tiptoeing. Well done. And when he saw Jesus, he said to Jesus, Jesus, I want to ask you some questions. Can we talk? Please, I know it's the night time, but I'd like to talk to you. So I've got my story of Nicodemus in my Bible here. He was very, very clever and very important. Can we stand up tall and pretend to be very important? Well done. And he knew that Jesus was going to help him to understand some things about God. That's why he tiptoed, and we tiptoe, in the dark, and we make it dark, to see Jesus. Can we do the sign for Jesus? Can you do that? Can you remember and do the sign for Jesus? So, are we ready? Not everybody liked Nicodemus or even liked Jesus and Nicodemus was a little bit worried can we pull a worried face hmm little bit worried that's why he tiptoed in the dark to see Jesus because then it was a secret Shh. Nicodemus said to Jesus I know that God has sent you. And I know that you can do all those amazing and wonderful things that you do because God is with you. But I don't understand some things, he said to Jesus. And so Jesus talked to Nicodemus and Nicodemus talked to Jesus. And they learned lots of things. And the best thing in the world that Nicodemus learned was that God loves everybody. And he was like, wow, that's amazing. He suddenly knew that God loved him. And that God sent Jesus into the world for everybody to know that God loved them. That's what Jesus taught Nicodemus. That you can know God's love and that you can be part of God's family when you know that God loves you. Now Nicodemus had a lot to think about. Because there were the people, weren't there, that didn't like Jesus. And Nicodemus was important and he didn't want them to know. So what he did was he tiptoed quietly away after he'd said goodnight to Jesus. Can we do our tiptoeing? And can we hide in the dark? And can we do our secret? Shh. Because that's what Nicodemus did all the way home. But all the way home, he was thinking, hmm, we got a thinking face, hmm. He was thinking about all those words that Jesus had said to him. And he was remembering that Jesus had told him that God loved him. And then he knew that God loved him. And so instead of being scared and worried about what the other people might think, and tiptoeing in the dark in secret, Nicodemus stood up tall and told everybody that he believed what Jesus said and that he was going to follow Jesus all the rest of his life. Wasn't that an amazing story? That 
we can, that Jesus helped Nicodemus to know that God loved him, just like he helps us to know that God loves us as well. So, shall we do some singing and thinking about God loving us? Let's do that. Are we ready then? Oh, I wonder what we will sing today. Have we got our fingers? Because God loves you and you and you and you. Good dancing. Make some happy faces. Shall we do some running around like a statue? Are we ready? Oh, oh. Are we ready? We can do some running around, can't we? Round and round and round we run. We've got children having fun. Okay, for a run. Are we ready? Round and round and round we run. We got children having fun. Then our loud boy shouts, now stop! I'm still like a statue. Are you ready?
was a good blood. 